Welcome back to Rule 2 Blog. We got my friend Pablo Hernandez here is making us, thank you, cheers, brother, making homemade uh, tortillas, right? That is correct. So tell me, how, so tell me what you're working with. I'm Excuse super me. excited to be here. Okay, so what I've done here is, I'm not big on measurements, so what I've done here is I've taken a teacup, a regular teacup, I've scooped out three cups of flour into this. Over here, we've got some baking powder. Okay. I put in a teaspoon. A baking and powder. a half, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. So it's powder. already in this flour. Then. It's already in the flour. It's okay. already mixed in. And I put in about a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of salt. So what we're going to do here now is add in some oil. And here in the oil, I've got about maybe one third cup so of oil. So we're just using standard vegetable oil? This is a uh, canola oil or it might be a vegetable oil. Okay, you can use one. olive oil. And in some families, they still like to use lard. But, uh, okay. you know, we're trying to, we're trying to stay... So you can route. use pretty any fat. Right, exactly. You can use a, even a rendered beef fat if you want to use some rendered chicken So you want to get fat. crazy, you it's can all do about, it. It's all about just yeah, what whatever, you use. whatever your preference is. Okay, great. Thank you. So, so what we do here is we just mix it in, and we're trying to get just before what would look like a crust. So we still want to use a little bit more oil here. And again, like I said before, I'm not big on measurements, so right. what I'm really looking for is texture. You're looking for a, a texture, I'm gonna, right? I'm, I'm going just before it gets a little too crumbly. So, from here, I will be right back while I... Okay, so welcome back to Real Food Blog. Pablo, tell us what you're doing. So what I'm doing right now is I've just finished mixing in the oil, and what you're really looking for is for the for the mixture to stick together. And once just you poke like that. It, once you poke it, it should break apart. Perfect. And what I'm going to do now is start adding some water. Okay, so this is where you add the water. We'll be right back to show you the finished product. Okay, great. 